What is that, a wasp? Please don't come back and sting me. It's got dirt all over everything. Sight, I'm in the woods. What's up, Internet? Kern1776 here in the woods, sweating my badonka donk off. Well, I ain't got much of a badonka donk. I mean, it's enough to sit on for like maybe five minutes, and then I, I just got to get up. So if you see me getting up and down, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's hot. It's Georgia in August. <laughs> so I'm out here on the back 40, if you will, and uh, I got a product I want to share with you. I've used it a couple times. I've really come to enjoy it. It's, it's a pretty pretty dang nice little rig, and it's, uh, it's something that you can pretty much keep in your pack all the time. You always have it in case you need it. So, it's hot out, as I said earlier. We're fixing to make it a little bit hotter. Hotter. That's what this item does. It's from Uberleben, and it's called the Stoker. It's a flat pack, five panel stove organic matter stoves so you use sticks and stuff like that that you find out in the woods but uh that's how small it is it's a little smaller than the size of my hand it comes in this wax canvas deal right here it's a little pouch with velcro on it and uh, it works really well as you can see it's uh, not new looking, <laughs> so I've used it. So I got that nice patina going on. It's flat, it's lightweight. Uh, they have two, two materials. You can get 304 stainless, which is this one, or you can get titanium, which will be a little bit lighter. But honestly, man, this, this is stupid light. Uh, there's really nothing to it. So you got five panels, you got four like this, then your fifth panel, which is your grate, it sits on the bottom. This is what, you know, your organic matter sits on or whatever. And as it ashes, it falls through the holes. And it all obviously provides some airflow as well. Notice how this one here has got a slot here on the bottom where there's three that have slots on the bottom. So three that are identical. The only one that's different is this one. It's got the large hole on it. It says Uber leaving there across the front. Made in the USA, by the way, for those that are wondering. This is your front panel, and it does not have, obviously, the little slot at the bottom. The slots are for your bottom grate to go in. So, to put it together, you got opposing ears right here. So you got this ear slotted pointing down, this ear slotted pointed up. They're stamped, so you got an interior and an exterior stamping. So the indention I put on the inside, so just be sure that you got opposing ears, one going up, one going down, and they just slide into each other. And you just kind of send them home like that. And you just repeat the process around, take your other, side piece all right find its opposing tabs slide it in so now we got our three sides so here's our bottom because it has the slots i'm going to take this piece here and just install it in because it's still flexible and it can move around into your slots like so and your other side just goes in like the others did. And then you've got two more pieces in here. These are straight pieces that are slotted in the middle. Put the slots together so that you can form an X or a cross, and 
and then they just go into where each panel meets. Pretty simple. So that gives you the ability to put smaller pots on here. So you got a pot that's smaller than the area here. Obviously you don't want it to fall through. So this, you can put smaller pots. Obviously you can put bigger pots on there and it also gives it some rigidity, right? So that's the stoker right there from Uberleben. So I got something to eat here in my pack. So it has been raining like a cow pen on a flat rock around here. So it took me a while to try to find some stuff that was dry. And I think I've got some dry stuff, enough of it that we can at least boil some water with this. So I'm gonna set this down on the ground and uh, fire it up, boil us some water so I can eat some vittles. Yeah, I'll show you how well it works, hopefully, if I can get a fire going. All right, so of course I got my trusty old fire kit here um, with all sorts of different ways of starting fire, including matches and a lighter. <laughs> because, well, hey, gotta have a little bit of everything, right? So we're gonna, considering the fact that it is super wet out, I'm gonna break out the old Zippos here. And we're going to see if we can get something going. So you can obviously top feed this, this stove here, but it's got this large hole in here. So you can put larger material in through here and as it burns, you can just keep easing it in, uh, kind of like a rocket stove, right? So let's just see if we can pack this thing with enough small, hopefully dry enough material. be able to get us a fire going here and then we'll start to add more stuff as we go these matches are pretty extreme so they should help quite a bit with the fact of a lot of stuff being wet Seems to be catching pretty good, which is a good, good thing. I may have spoke too soon. Come on, baby. There we go. So we got that dude starting to move now. Probably should have. Got my uh, water and everything ready. I'll go ahead and just start top feeding it for now. Get us a bed of coals going. Come on now, don't go out on me. Matter of fact, I think it's starting to rain now. Hearing some raindrops hitting my tarp here. I found this stuff. I'm not 100% sure what this is. But I believe it's good and dry. Let's see if it'll take. It's not fat lighter. It's not cedar. Uh, it was on a deadfall I found. And I cut down into it. bark on it. Yeah, it's starting to friggin' rain right now. Awesome. Alright, let me get my stuff ready here since we got us a flame going. Alright, how much water do I need? I need 
one and a third cup. Ten point five ounces of water. Yeah, look at that thing. Doing it, man. ahead and set our cup up there since we are cooking pretty good right now so yeah I mean you can just feed feed larger material here in the front while you're uh Getting your water going that way you can keep keep the heat going there. Hopefully we'll get us a good bowl here in a minute. And of course if you got rain you can just drop smaller stuff in through the top. I really like this stove. I mean, it's super light, and I guess we'll put on the uh, put on the screen here how much it weighs because I can't remember right off the top of my head. But again, it's the stainless steel model, and it's really light. So they do have um, the uh, titanium model. But man, you can keep this in your pack. You don't even know it's there you need it super light and flat which is cool so great great little stove I, th I think it's freaking awesome so just if you're curious what I'm eating going to eat right here is biscuits and sausage gravy from peak refuel oh, that right there is good stuff man it is good stuff oh. really good stuff i mean ridiculously good stuff Recommend if you have a stove like this, really any stove, and I recommend you have these anyway. Get you some leather gloves, keep in your pack. You never know, you might need it. Keep you from getting rope burn, from picking up things you probably otherwise shouldn't because it's hot and stuff like that. I mean, it's just smart to have. And then if you're eating out of one of these, you need a nice long spork right there. Shoo. This is also from Peak Refuel. It's freaking awesome. Gets down to the bottom. You ain't gotta cut your bag down low and get your hands all nasty. Here's another cool thing for you that I like to add to my fire kit. I keep it in my, uh, my little Zippo thing here is pocket bellows so if you're like me you're old and you don't want to get down on your knees and you need to get some air to your fire boom never left my seat <laughs> strong it's the little things folks that make life in the woods a little bit more fun sometimes just keep it right there in there so I got it when I need it really wet out getting there should have a bowl here 
in about a minute or less. See how much better that's burning now, just giving a little bit of air with the uh, with the bellows. And she's cranking now. I put some wet wood in there on top of it and kind of snubbed it out a little bit. Here comes our bowl. Heck yeah, so since that's doing that, I'm gonna crack into these here biscuits and gravy. Don't eat that. I mean, it's literally got biscuits in it, y'all. Look at that. <sighs> Telling you this stuff right here. Freaking amazing. All right, we got us a rolling bowl. Yeah, buddy. So, add this to the bag, mix it around a little bit, close the bag up, and give it about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put my glove on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it a mix. Close it up. Give that about 10 minutes and I'm fixing to eat good. Obviously that's hot, so don't touch it. Come on, sausage and gravy. A couple biscuits. That stove is awesome. Ooh, that's hot. But I promise you this, too. Get you one of them stoves, and then go get you some peak refuel biscuits and gravy. You can thank me later. <laughs> wow. So that's the Uber leaving Stoker, man. I, I really dig, really dig that stove right there. Obviously you can cook other things on it. You can put a little skillet on there and cook, you know, bacon and eggs and do the whole nine yards. But if you just need a way to boil water and you, you know, you're, you're the kind of cat that likes to not use things that have fuel canisters and stuff like that, where of course, you know, they have their place, but it's really cool to be able to, you know, start a fire with natural materials and sticks and deadfall that you find out around where you're at. Pull that out, put it together, and uh, get you a good contained natural fire going. Uber Lieben Stoker. U-B-E-R-L-E-B-E-N. Made in the USA. Awesome products. And the Stoker hits all the numbers for me. I think it's great. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like, comment, hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post more videos. And uh, don't forget to share with your friends. And I'll see you next time with another product video. Yeehaw. I promise you, not only is that Uber leaving Stoker bad to the bone, it's peak refuel. Get, get you a stove. Or maybe we'll send you a stove. I don't know. 